welcome to Spain. Here is where Father Federico Capdepan was born on April the 12th, 1951, in Miranda, a city in Burgos, Spain. From an early age, he was intent in helping others and decided to enter the seminary in Madrid at the age of 17. As a young seminarian, he helped many Cuban refugees in Madrid. He also played guitar in a musical group he dubbed Los Brothers. The six seminarians would go around the countryside performing at dances for youth groups. The only problem was that they only knew how to play four songs. He also worked summers as a bellboy and a waiter in Geneva, Switzerland, and even briefly drove a taxi cab in Madrid. He said the tourist would get mad at him because he didn't know the streets of Madrid, and they thought he was cheating them. He left the seminary at the age of 21, wanting to discover what it was to live life and to prove he could be successful in business and be a normal person. By the age of 27, he had built a successful business, owned a large house in Madrid, and lived really well. One night while he was getting ready to throw a party, an elderly couple knocked on his door, suitcases in hand. They needed a place to stay. He tried to shut the door on them, but it wouldn't close. It was like something was stuck. He remembered the gospel passage, whatever you do to the least of my brothers. He thought of his parents in the same situation. He relented, but warned the couple that it was only for one night. They stayed with him for two years. He wanted to know nothing about God. When they came to his house and knocked on his door, he claims, they gave me back my vocation. He came to Miami in 1978 on a business venture, representing 40 Spanish publishers seeking to sell bilingual textbooks in the U.S. market. But he quickly found out that money didn't bring him real happiness. He was looking for something that would give meaning to his life. While living in St. Francis de Sales Parish on Miami Beach, he rekindled his vocation and eventually was ordained a priest of the Archdiocese of Miami on May 14, 1983. At his first assignment, the predominantly Cuban Saints Peter and Paul Parish in Miami, he wanted to fit in. He would invite himself to eat in parishioners' homes, telling them that he loved picadillo and black beans. After the first two weeks of eating that every night, he got up on the pulpit again and said, I really would like to change the menu. Father Federico quickly became very active in the Archdiocese Vocations Office and in the Personnel Board. He was named Director of Youth Ministries in 1988. In 1990, he became the founder and director of Radio Peace, the first Hispanic Catholic radio station to broadcast 24 hours a day, and was named President of the National Association of Hispanic Priests of the United States of America. In 1991, he was named pastor of St. Timothy's Catholic Church. And in 1992, he was elected president of Pax Catholic Communications. In September of 2002, after leaving the Catholic Communications Ministry, Father Federico was named pastor of St. Martha's Catholic Church in Miami Shores. His passion for building a faith community resulted in a vibrant and dynamic Catholic presence. After 10 years of service in St. Martha's, he was named pastor of St. Hugh Catholic Church in 2012, along with Father Damien Flanagan, the parochial vicar. Together with the leadership of the school's principal, Mary Fernandez, today's parish and school continue the academic and religious traditions of a strong and vibrant Catholic community. Father's desire that St. Hugh will be recognized as a vibrant and deeply committed community known for the spirit of fellowship among its members 
has today become a reality. Today we pause and we honor Father Federico as he retires and embarks on yet another aspect of his life's journey. Let us now go back and relive some of Father Federico's memorable moments. So that the new year 2014 will bring to all. <coughs> I also pray that baby Jesus may be born in our hearts and that his birth in us may be <coughs> the new law that Jesus gives us, gives, 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 yes, okay. Para que el año nuevo, dos, dos, <laughs> the Catholic Church is waiting and wanting you to assist you. No, no. Okay, let me let me read it. Let me read that. The resurrection of Christ is an invitation to transform our lives to that our. Hay un mosquito que me está matando. Es que tengo un mosquito alrededor que me está matando. Se fue un nuevo y alguien estas fiestas pascuales entienden en nosotros el deseo del cielo. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic priest. Federico, te deseamos lo mejor para tu jubilación. Damos gracias a Dios por tener un hermano tan bueno. Te queremos. Federico, que sepa remar por otros mares. También que al jubilarte dejes la gestión para dedicarte a la palabra, a la oración y sobre todo a la ayuda a los demás. Ahora toca cambiar, cambiar el chip y hacer otro tipo de actividades que seguramente te gustaría hacer. Ah, una cosa te voy a decir y que quiero que la expliques, que te perdono lo que me hiciste de pequeño, ya sabes, ya sabes. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now, will you still be sending me a valentine, birthday greetings, bottle of wine? If I'd been out till quarter to three, would you lock the door? Will 
you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64?